I am not discounting for one moment the significant social and cultural barriers that continue to hold women back, especially in more traditional societies. In recent times, we have seen or read about vivid examples of how badly women and girls are treated in their own societies, especially when they behave in a manner that is considered out of step with society, or rather a particular segment of that society. Many of us would have followed with great interest the story about the 15-year-old girl in Afghanistan, Malala, who was shot by a Taliban gunman because she expressed a wish to attend school. It should be emphasized in the strongest possible terms that this situation has nothing to do with Islam. It is, in fact, the very antithesis of all that Islam stands for. It has more to do with the grip on society of unhealthy tribal traditions and customs that distort religious interpretation and inhibit human development. 